question is, who's going to prevail? Are democracies going to prevail and the, and the values we share? Or autocracy is going to prevail? And that's really what's at stake. So what you're doing is consequential, really consequential. Ukrainian people have a lot of backbone, they have a lot of guts, and I'm sure you're observing it. And I don't mean just the military, which is, we've been trained in since back when they, uh, Russia moved into, uh, in, in the southeast, southeast um, Ukraine. But also the average citizen, look at how they're stepping up. Look at how they're stepping up. So the question is, who's going to prevail? Are democracies going to prevail and the, and the values we share? Or autocracy is going to prevail? And that's really what's at stake. So what you're doing is consequential, really consequential. was banking on NATO being split. My early conversation with him in December and early January was clear to me he didn't think we could sustain this cohesion. NATO has never, never been more united than it is today. Putin is getting exactly the opposite what he intended to have as a consequence of going into Ukraine.